Harry Potter lived at number four Privet Drive with his horrible uncle and aunt and their hateful son Dudley. Harry was often locked in his room and even though he a wizard he couldn't escape because he wasn't allowed to use magic when he was away from school. One evening a house elf named Dobby appeared. Harry Potter must not go back to Hogwarts. If Harry Potter goes back to Hogwarts he will be in mortal danger. Dobby disappeared, and shortly after, Harry's best friend Ron Weasley and his brothers Fred and George arrived in a flying Ford Anglia to rescue Harry from his prison. They flew him to their home, the Burrow, where Harry spent the rest of the summer before travelling by flu powder to Diagon Alley. Harry met up with Ron's sister, Ginny, and went with her to Flourish and Blots, where the famous wizard author, Gilderoy Lockhart, was signing his latest book. Great Scott, is that? No, surely not! It is! It's Harry Potter! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, this is the perfect moment for me to make an important announcement. I have great pleasure in announcing that I will be taking up the post of Defence Against the Dark Arts teacher at Hogwarts. Oh. Bet you loved that, didn't you, Potter? Famous Harry Potter. Can't even go into a bookshop without making the front page. Leave him alone. He didn't want all that. Potter, you've got yourself a girlfriend. I suppose your parents will go hungry for a month to pay for all the books you're going to need at Hogwarts. It's the least I can do to help out the poor and needy. Hurry! We've missed the train! The Hogwarts Express left five minutes ago! Oh no! What are we going to do? Well, I know that Dad took the flying car to work this morning. It's parked in Charing Cross Road. OK, it's our only chance of getting to school on time. Being sure to check that no one was watching, Ron and Harry took off in the old Ford Anglia. Now all we've got to worry about are airplanes. <laughs> I can't see anything in here. Phew, that was close. I think we're almost there. Uh-oh, I think the car's cutting out. Come on, car. Come on. Stop, stop, stop. open chest with the Alahamora spell. To cast a spell, press and hold the left mouse button. Alahamora! <laughs> to 
climb over low walls, I just have to walk into them. I can use this gargoyle as a target to activate the Lumos spell. Lumos! This is a save book. Walk into them to save the current state of your game. When you faint, your game will automatically revert to the point where and when you last touched a save book. I bet I can pass for Pendo on that level. Push it to that ledge. Uh, uh, uh. Uh, hurry! This branch is squeezing me like a snake! Alamora! A chocolate frog. Chocolate frogs replenish some of your stamina. They also taste delicious. Alahamora can open up magically locked objects such as chests and secret doors. Alahamora! Good job, Harry. Now, see if you can cast for a pendo on this branch to get it off me. I think I see a sensitive spot right there. Thanks, Harry. Much appreciated. Oh, no! Come back! Great. My dad won't be happy that I lost his flying car. Anyway, we'd better get a move on. We don't want Professor Snape catching us out so late. This move was cast light. It also reveals magically hidden things. To jump, run to the ledge and press the right mouse button. Try collecting the beans on all the ledges, Harry. Those are Bertie Bot's every flavour beans. I should collect as many as I can. They'll come in handy later. This is a bronze wizard card. There are 50 of these scattered throughout Hogwarts. Each time you collect 10 bronze cards, you're given a permanent stamina increase. Pressing the escape key will allow you to access the Folio Magi and look at the wizard cards you've collected thus far. At least we'll be dry when we get expelled. Come on! We'd better get up to the school! Uh. Look at all the stars!
I hope Ron didn't get lost. This door is locked tight. It's night now the rain has stopped. is just over here to the right, remember? chamber. Harry? Finally, there's the portrait of the pink lady. Give her the password and let's go to bed. I thought you'd have the password. Why would I have the password? Why would I have it? I've been with you since we got here. You're right. I better know who would have it. There you are. Right on time. I heard the most incredible story about you two getting expelled over a flying car. Oh, Marnie, please! We're tired! Could you just tell us what the password is? 
Wattlebird. It's good to see you again, Harry. There you two are. Brilliant entrance. Got the year off with a bang. Mum's furious, by the way. You two should hear about the bean trading system we've set up. It's based on Bertie Bott's Every Flavour Beans. Fred, myself and several of our associates have set up trading opportunities throughout Hogwarts. Some of us will occasionally have an item to trade. If you have enough beans, we'll trade with you. Where are we supposed to get all these beans? They're hidden all over the place. It's not hard to find them. You should have enough to start trading in no time. It will be a pleasure doing business with you, I'm sure. Once inside the common room, Harry was greeted by the cheers of his fellow Gryffindors. Harry and Ron became Gryffindor here due to their little accident with the Whomping Willow. Harry slept well that night and looked forward to his first day at Hogwarts. Good morning, Harry. It's time for our Defense Against the Dark Arts lesson with Professor Lockhart. I just love his books. He's such a brilliant writer. Defense Against the Dark Arts on the third floor. Follow us. is up here. Try to hurry, Harry. We'll get to see Gilderoy Lockhart in person. You're just a second year student. Oh, oh I sorry. Don't have time. I just sold my very last item a moment ago. Sorry, I've run out of stock. You'll have to... What do you have? I have flubberworm mucus for a limited time only. Press on the yes button to accept the trade or the no button to decline. As you wish, but these are becoming hard to find. What do you have? I have flubberworm mucus for a limited time only. As you wish, but these are becoming hard to find. Nick! Even after all these years, I still find new secrets in Hogwarts. Here's a special area that you can unlock only if you collect all 40 silver wizard cards. For every 10 silver wizard cards you collect, you'll get a key that will allow you to open one of the four locks on the door. See if you can find all 40 Silver Wizard cards hidden throughout Hogwarts and the grounds.
You remember where it is, don't you? I'd better get out of here. Filch might be lurking nearby. Well, well, well. I heard a crash and what do I find? Mr. Harry Potter had a broken, irreplaceable antique vase. Argus Filch, the caretaker, was loathed by every student at Hogwarts. Some thought his cat, Mrs. Norris, spied on students. Honestly, it, it just fell. What was that? Hey, what are you talking about? I heard a voice. Hearing voices won't get you off. I'll mark this down against you. Now move along while I clean this up. I must have been hearing things. Back to bright, more valuable school property. I said move along. Welcome to Defense Against the Dark Arts. My fame makes an introduction unnecessary, but I'll delight you with one anyway. I am Gilderoy Lockhart, Order of Merlin, Third Class, honorary member of the Dark Force Defense League, and five-time winner of Witch Weekly's Most Charming Smile Award. Ah, I see you've all bought a complete set of my books. Well done. Today, we shall be learning the Rictusempra spell. Rictusempra? is very useful when stunning certain pesky creatures such as Cornish Pixies. Who wants to be first? Harry Potter, will you step down here, please? Lucky! Clear your mind completely, Harry. Don't even think about me. And concentrate on the symbol in front of you. See the wand? It's going to move its way around the symbol. At the exact point when the wand passes over the arrows, hit the corresponding arrow key. This exercise has three parts. You must hit all of the arrows correctly in order to progress to the next round. Ready to try? Round one, begin!
Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Five points to Gryffindor. Round two, begin. Well done, Harry. You've advanced to the next round. Ten points to Gryffindor. Round three, begin. Fabulous work, Harry! Aren't you glad you've learned from the likes of me? You've now completed the exercise. Fifteen points to Gryffindor. You've learned Rictus Sempra. You didn't do as well as I did the first time, but then who could? Now, how about a turn in the spell practice arena? Welcome, Harry Potter, to my famous Rictus Sempra challenge. To complete the challenge, you must find the completion star, which will be found at the top of this tower. Try to get to it as quickly as you can. If the challenge timer reaches zero before you have the completion star, you lose the challenge. Along the way, you will find challenge stars. Collecting challenge stars will boost your timer and score. Try and find them all. Try to get the completion star with as many seconds remaining as possible. The higher your score is when you complete the challenge, the more house points I will award you. Ready to begin? Good luck! Three, two, one, go! Firecrabs are nasty little pests that like to shoot hot flame out of, uh, well, at you. You can stun them by casting Rictus Sempra on them. Then you can use Flipendo to push them around. This indicates that a firecrab placed on or nearby the symbol will cause something to happen in the world, Harry. Try and use Flipendo to push the firecrab onto this plate. That's a giant orange snail. Avoid touching them or their slime trails. The acid that they secrete will burn you. Harry, trust me, I know. Rictus Sempra will stun them, and then you can use Flipendo to push them around. Flip Pendo! Flip Pendo! Uh. 
Are a greedy lot. They will try to steal your Bertie Bot's beans. Flipendo will push them onto their backs and cause them to drop anything they might have stolen. You can also pick up gnomes and throw them around. Throw them into a gnome hole to permanently get rid of them. That is a gnome hole. This is where gnomes come from and where they go to deposit stolen goods. Throw gnomes into these holes to permanently get rid of them. You cannot climb into them. Get <laughs> 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 